the Royal Rubble is done and with it, as always, it brought a sense of mystery that's extremely hard to match. As we officially begin the road to WrestleMania, there were a lot of things to look forward to, be it the winner of the Men's Rumble or the Women's. The show affected how a lot of the programming is going to play out over the coming weeks. With that being the case, this is Wrestling Up and in this video, let's take a look at everything that happened at the Royal Rumble. Before the show even officially got underway, things were moving at a fast pace. Pat McAfee made his way out to the ring and joined the commentary booth with Michael Cole and Corey Graves. This was the first first time that he was back in WWE since he stepped away to look after his other job. The night started out with Gunter and Sheamus coming down to number one and number two. The two have had a long rivalry in the past, and that showed up immediately as the two fought against each other, lighting each other up. They were joined by none other than The Miz and Kofi Kingston. There were some team-ups, and there were no immediate eliminations. Kofi came out and started to take everyone out one by one. However, he was caught by Sheamus who tried to throw him out, but Kingston snuck back into the ring. Out next was Johnny Gargano. He made his way out and tried to go after The Miz. Miz tried to throw him out, but he hung on and hit him with the DDT. Gargano hung Miz on the outside and handed him over to Sheamus for the 10 beats. Gargano hit a super kick after, and then he was eliminated by Sheamus with the bro kick. Out next was none other than Xavier Woods. He and Kofi started to work together, but then they were joined by Karrion Cross. Gable came in next, and he faced off with Woods in a wrestling match in the middle of the ring. McIntyre and Cross went after each other as they came face to face, but in the end, McIntyre threw Cross over the ropes. Santos Escobar made his first ever Royal Rumble entrance at number 10. Escobar went for the big moves immediately and was looking good, but got taken out by Angelo Dawkins when the star came in. The eliminations finally started with Gunter throwing Xavier Woods out, but then Kofi was thrown out too. He fell on his head on the outside. One of his legs stayed on an upturned chair. Out next was Brock Lesnar, and he started to throw everyone out one by one. He threw out Escobar, Gable, and Dawkins. But just as Lesnar faced off against Gunter, in came Bobby Lashley. He set things up by taking people out with spears before throwing Lesnar out. Lesnar lasted less than three minutes as Lashley eliminated him. Corbin was out next, but Lesnar, furious with his elimination, attacked him and took Corbin out at ringside with an F5. He then started to attack the referees as well. Seth Rollins was out next, and he threw out Corbin immediately. Otis was out next for the show. Ray was supposed to be out next, but he didn't make his way out for some reason. Seth Rollins turned his focus on Lashley and eliminated him. Lashley and Lesnar clearly have other things to focus on soon. Dominic came out next wearing a Rey Mysterio mask. The two will clearly have something to do together. Drew and Sheamus eliminated Otis. Out came Elias, but he ate the bro kick and the claymore before being thrown out. Balor came in next. Balor and Dominic started to work together, and they were battling with Drew and Sheamus, but then out of nowhere came a surprise return. Booker T made his way out, and he hit the bookend, but before he could do much, he was thrown out after the spin rooney by Gunter. Damian Priest was out next, and the three of them teamed up to attack other stars. Montez Ford made his way out to the ring. Montez went after all members of the Judgment day, and despite their best attempts to eliminate him, he kept coming back in. Priest picked him up and threw him out with the choke slam, and Ford was eliminated despite landing on his feet. Edge was out next, and he came out looking after the Judgment Day. He hit them with the spear and threw Damian Priest and Finn Balor out of the ring. He looked away from Dominic and turned his attention to Seth Rollins. Finn Balor, despite being eliminated, helped Dominic throw Edge out. Austin Theory was out next. Edge took the fight to the Judgment Day on the outside, attacking Finn and Damian. Rhea Ripley came out and attacked Edge, but before she could do too much damage, Beth Phoenix came out and hit a spear on Ripley. Omos came out next to attack Drew and Sheamus, but at number 27, he was joined by Braun Strowman. The two squared off in the ring and started to go at it. Strowman threw Omos out of the ring with a clothesline, taking him out. Ricochet came in next. Drew and Sheamus tried to eliminate Braun Strowman, but he hung on. Sheamus dragged him up, and Drew and Sheamus tried the double 10 beats. They were interrupted by Gunter. Drew was trying to save Sheamus from falling out, but Gunter picked him up and threw them both out. At number 29, it was none other than Logan Paul who made his way out to the ring to a chorus of boos. Everyone ganged up on him and started to beat him down in the middle of the ring. Logan came back with a buckshot lariat to Ricochet. Ricochet hit him with a shooting star. After Braun attacked him, he still stayed in. Out next was Cody Rhodes. As he made his way down to the ring, Cody came in and took out Dominic before throwing him out of the ring. Braun attacked Cody, but Gunter slammed Strowman. Ricochet took out Gunter. He then stopped Theory. Paul and Ricochet had an immense collision in midair from opposite sides of the ring as they hit each other with flying cross bodies. Braun was thrown out by Cody Rhodes. Ricochet was fighting Cody, but Theory took him out with a clothesline. Cody took out Theory and Seth hit him with the stomp. 
just like that, there were three. As Theory was thrown out, it was Cody, Seth, and Gunter. They battle as Seth hits Gunter with a pedigree. Cody then hits him with one of his own. They then circle and start to attack one another. Cody and Seth squared off with Seth hitting Cody with the super kick. Out of nowhere, Logan Paul comes back and throws Seth out of the ring. Cody hit him with the crossroads and then faced off with Gunter. The two were the last in the match and they started to battle. In a match within a match as Gunter almost threw Cody out, but Cody just managed to hang on. Cody paid tribute to his brother setting Gunter up in the corner and hitting him with the Shattered Dreams. Cody Rhodes hit the crossroads to Gunter and throws him out of the ring. Your winner, Cody Rhodes. L.A. Knight and Bray Wyatt faced off in the ring in the Mountain Dew pitch black match. The backlight lit up the neon markings on Wyatt. The match stipulation was no DQ. They fought on the outside and then Bray slammed L.A. through the table on the outside, for some reason spilling neon everywhere. Bray hit Knight with the sister Abigail. That was it. Winner, Bray Wyatt. Bray turned around and he was wearing a mask. He went at L.A. Knight and absorbed the kendo stick shots before putting him in the mandible claw. Above him, Uncle Howdy appeared. Uncle Howdy launched himself off the top of the platform and on LA night. Fire rose from the area, and then the puppets appeared at the top of the platform. Alexa Bliss and Bianca Belair win at it against each other with Bliss using Belair's hair against her. The match didn't last too long, as Bianca was able to overcome what Alexa threw at her and hit the KOD to win the match and come away as the champion. After the match was done, Uncle Howdy appeared on the screen with Alexa's past, went under the influence of The Fiend played. Alexa looked absolutely distressed. It appeared that her therapy to free her from Wyatt might be regressing, and she's going back to a very different time of her life. Rhea Ripley started the Women's Royal Rumble as she came out cradling her apparently injured ribs. Liv Morgan appeared next in the match, taking on Ripley. Out next was Dana Brooke. She hit Liv with the move off the ropes, and Emma appeared next. Shayna came in next, and they were soon joined by Bailey. Morgan hit Bailey with the Oblivion, and that looked like a bad moment for her. Bailey recovered and punished Liv for the attack. B Fab was in next. She didn't last long, and Rhea threw B Fab out. Rhea was bleeding and wiped the blood on her face. Roxanne came in next. Dakota Kai came in and started to help Bailey immediately. EO Sky was out next, and that saw the entire damage control out. Emma was almost eliminated, but she hung on. Dana was then eliminated by damage control. Emma was taken out to the apron and was eliminated by the big boot of Dakota Kai. Roxanne went after damage control, but it was a bad idea, with the three women eliminating Roxanne. Natalia was out next in her return from injury. Candice came in next. Shayna puts in the Kirafita clutch on the ropes on Natalia. Damage control threw them both out. Zoe Stark was out next, as was Zaya. Both women took the fight to the others in the ring. Out next is former Rumble winner Becky Lynch. She made her way out facing down Bailey and damage control. She took out both Kai and Sky and went after Bailey next. They had a brawl with Bailey exiting below the bottom rope. The fight was immediately big and Tegan came in next. Asuka was out next wearing a different mask. She opened it to reveal her Kana theme. Asuka looked dangerous, but then in came Piper Niven, renamed from Dewdrop. Tamina joined them as Tamina and Piper dominated. Chelsea Green came out as the next entry. She came in and got eliminated immediately by Rhea Ripley. Becky eliminated Io and Dakota, but Bailey threw her out. Liv threw Bailey out, and they battled through the crowd. Zelina Vega came out next and then faced down Zia Lee. Vega and she fought on the outside with Zelina taking her off the apron. Raquel was in next and took out Zoe Stark and Asuka. Mitchin was in next and went after everyone with some strong kicks. Lacey came in next, but before she could make an impact, the next entry was none other than Michelle McCool. She came in from the crowd and immediately went after the other women. She hit the Styles Clash and went, got attacked by Tamina again. Tamina was thrown out by her. Michelle hit Rhea with several shots, and Indy was in next. Lacey eliminated Zelina Vega next with the Cobra Clutch. Shotzi was in next at number 28. Nikki came in next, sprinting down the ring and going after Shotzi. She attacked everyone. Before the next countdown could complete, Nia Jax made her way into the ring. She is number 30. She started to attack everyone. She fended off everyone. The entire ring got together to throw Nia out to eliminate her. Raquel clotheslined Lacey out of the ring and then faced down Asuka. Asuka got the triangle in, but Raquel picked her up. Asuka and Raquel continued to fight and almost eliminated each other. Sonya and Asuka ended up on the apron. Asuka hit Sonya with the knee to the face and the big boot to eliminate her. Piper and Raquel continued to fight. Sonya got eliminated. Raquel eliminated Piper and went to eliminate Rhea. Rhea and Raquel scrambled with 
Rhea eliminating her. Rhea went after Nikki and almost eliminated her and Asuka. Liv Morgan eliminated Nikki. That left Liv, Rhea, and Asuka in the match. Rhea and Liv fought on the apron and were joined there by Asuka. Asuka sprayed the mist, but Rhea avoided and Liv got a face full of it. Rhea and Asuka both hung on barely with Liv hitting the double knees. Rhea threw Liv down and that was it. Rhea Ripley eliminates Liv Morgan. Winner, Rhea Ripley. Roman Reigns comes out without the Usos or Solo, only accompanied by Paul Heyman and Sami Zayn. Roman knocks down Kevin with the shoulder block. Roman and KO fought outside the ring as they put pressure on each other. The match went in and out of the ring as Owens kept kicking out despite the overall domination by Roman. Owens got hit with the Superman punch, but he still kicked out. Roman went for the spear, but KO avoided it, and he hit the steel corner post instead. KO hit the swanton bomb off the top rope, and that was a near fall. Owens went for a middle rope moonsault, but missed the ropes and landed badly. He crashed down on Roman. He got up and hit it well. He went and hit the pop-up powerbomb, but the referee was knocked out of the ring. Owens hit the powerbomb, and that knocked Roman out. Roman used the referee being knocked out to hit the low blow. He then asked Sammy for a chair, but he hesitated and took way too long to give the chair. KO got up and stunned Roman, but Roman kicked out. Roman took out Owens, but he refused to give up. Sammy yelled at Owens to stay down on the outside. Roman ran around the ring and hit KO with the spear through the barricade. He brought Owens in, but Owens rolled out. Roman slammed KO down into the stairs again and again head first. Roman dragged Owens up and slapped him mockingly, but KO fought back and Roman hit the spear. That was it. Winner, Roman Reigns. The Usos, Solo Sokoa, and Roman all celebrated with Sammy in the ring. Jay Uso looked to put a lay on Sammy as well, but Roman said that it was not over yet as he asked the Usos to beat down Kevin Owens. They hit him with the 1D. Roman asked Solo to beat him down as well. They put a chair around his neck in the corner where he was seated. Solo then went and hit the hip attack, bending the chair there. Roman was not done and brought in handcuffs, tying Owens up on the ropes with the handcuffs and continued the beatdown. Roman was about to hit him with the steel chair and Sammy stopped him and said that it was done and that this was beneath Roman and that Owens was done. Roman nodded, saying that was true and then he gave Sammy the steel chair. Handed the steel chair, Sammy faced down Roman and then turned to KO with Roman saying that KO didn't care about him. Sammy stood behind Roman and it looked like he'd hit Roman. He was crying and Roman mocked him for it. Sammy turned and then hit Roman across the back with the chair. The Usos lost their tempers crying at what he had done. Jimmy super kicked Sammy across the face and then sat on him, beating him down. Solo came in next and hit him with the Samoan spike. Solo and Jimmy beat him down while Jay sat at the side looking extremely heartbroken. Instead of hitting Sammy, he walked out of the ring. Roman hit Sammy with the steel chair again and again, breaking him down. Then he put the lay on Sammy while the crowd chanted, F you Roman. The bloodline is broken. And this was your Royal Rumble Report. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all later.